Well, hello everybody and hello. welcome. This is the day we went out to Morwellham, the mining village, wasn't it? We did indeed. Victoria. It, it, was, mm -hmm. um, uh, it was a day out with some fellow ralliers here. Yes. And, um, Mike and Scylla, yeah, they gave like us a to, lift. Yeah. I'd like to say really big thanks to yes. them. Mm. And um, it's where the Victorian farmhouse mm. uh, programme was filmed, wasn't it? The BBC, with the that BBC. lady Ruth, I forget her so, surname. Yeah. You could so, see the cottage that she mm. um, that she stayed in and the farm. So. Yeah. Mm. It's really, it was an extra bonus. Yeah. yeah. So here's what we did today. This is the cottage of the mine agent. It's called Copper or Cottage. And uh, as we go inside, we'll give you a little look around. And one of the surprising things is that uh, as you look up the uh, wooden staircase, you can see just here, just there, is the uh, flood level it was in 1979 so this is a standard sort of dinner table for the mine agent he would be quite wealthy apparently uh, so I read on the notice outside his uh, wages would have been 200 pounds a year which would be equivalent in today's terms of 120,000 pounds a year
very interesting. I love things like this history and some of the things I can still remember here from my grandmother and my great grandmother. I really love it. I love old houses and just looking around so I'm in my glory today. This is a lovely place. Just next door to the Copper Ore Cottage is the uh, William Hillman Cooper and he's a barrel maker obviously and there's all, all the things there about old time barrel making. It's very nice. But then I'll take you in there in a moment. But further down is obviously the carriages. And just further down here, there is the water wheel. It's taking water from a river or some such up there and then driving that wheel. of us are just on our way down the mines now on the little train. We're going slowly at the moment um, but I think we'll soon be very fast and very dark. Really excited! started work on the mine seven, eight years old. Now that sort of age, a little bit too small to be working underground. So he'd be working outside, up on the surface, up on the mine's ore dressing floors. He'd be helping to break and sort or dress the rock that was coming out of the mine. Now by the time he reaches maybe 10, 11, 12, so a little bit bigger and a little bit stronger, he would be underground. Eight hours a day, six days a week. He'd be learning the trade and the skills of the metal miner. So by the time he reached his late teens, he'd be a skilled miner in his own right, doing a man's job, taking home a man's wage. And in the mid-1850s, when copper mining was booming in the Tamer Valley, he could be earning some pretty reasonable money. As a skilled miner, he could expect to be taking home four, maybe even five pounds a month. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but that keeps a roof over your head. It keeps your family fed and it leaves you with enough left over for some of life's small luxuries. So it really was good money. However, 
good times didn't last. 1860s copper mining here in the southwest is in trouble, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later on. Suffice to say, miners' wages dropped quite considerably. So these chaps here on the bench, they were still working in the late 1860s. They wouldn't be taking home their four or five pounds. They would be lucky, and I do stress the word lucky, if they were earning three. And that really wasn't enough to keep body and soul together. So a lot of miners, particularly the more skilled men, left the district. Some went up country. So, for example, in 1872, it was said that even a second-class miner could earn as much as £8 a month in the iron mines of Cumbria or the coal mines of County Durham. Even more miners emigrated, North America, South Australia, South Africa, places where new mines are opening and where these chaps can earn a decent living. Anyway, so much for men and boys. Women and girls. Now, in Devon and Cornwall, as far as we know, women and girls never worked underground. That said, they wouldn't have escaped altogether. They would have started work like the boys, seven, eight years old. Like the boys, they'd be working up on surface, on the ore dressing floors, breaking and sorting rock. However, unlike the boys, the women and girls would spend their whole working lives up there. And they had a special name. They were called Bal Maidens. Bal, B-A-L, it's an old Cornish word. It means mine. Right, what we're going to do now, we're going to push on a little bit deeper. We're going to find out what the miners are doing down here. How they're breaking rock, driving tunnels, and ultimately, of course, how they're extracting the copper ore. It's all very exciting. I'm excited, and I've done it twice today already. <laughs> Well, that was quite a little jaunt down the mine. Uh, a jolly chap uh, was the uh, train driver and guide through the mine. Very interesting um, the way they would have to uh, have a, a metal rod and a, a, a big hammer to drill holes in to put the blasting powder in to cut their way through the rock. A two-man team one holding the big metal bar and the other one whacking it. Um, and they used to do that all day, every day, just to get to drive the, the shafts into the mine. Hmm. Interesting journey. This is the River Tamar at uh, Moor Wellham. And apparently the other side of the river is Cornwall and this side is Devon or so the uh, train driver in the mine told us. He's from Cornwall, by the way. And he's, uh, he said, the other side of the river is Cornwall, and this side is England. So he's a real Cornwall nationalist. It's a lovely place to be though, it really is. Well, I hope you enjoyed all that. We certainly had yes. a great day, didn't we? Oh, you can't see it all in a day. There's no. so much to see, uh, everything. We, well, Lovely. We, we spent nearly six hours there. Mm. Um, mm. And uh, the trip down the mine was really mm. good. Sorry yeah. we couldn't get much footage no. of that. It was really dark really in there. Yeah. yeah, very interesting. Mm. The guy uh, was, was really knowledgeable. Mm. But that's it for today. We're going to see you again tomorrow. Mm. And... Uh, Thanks very much for right. watching. Yeah. Say goodbye, Steve. Oh, goodbye, Steve. Say goodbye, <laughs> Wend. Goodbye, Wend. <laughs> Pippin's fast asleep. She's yeah. absolutely exhausted after her day out and her ride on the train oh, through yeah. the mines. Yeah. Yes. Bye bye yeah. for now. Bye, everyone. See you again soon. Bye. -bye. bye.